हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट सम डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वी नीड प्रोग्राम टू टेक सम डिसीजन एंड आफ्टर मेकिंग द डिसीजन काइंडली वर्क ऑन दैम अकॉर्डिंगली एज द डिसीजन आर देयर सो दिस विल बी द वीडियो अबाउट डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स इन डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स वी हैव टू थिंग्स आई वर द थिंग हैज टू बी ट्रू और हैज टू बी फॉल्स आफ्टर द डिसीजन हैज बीन मेड it means whether you make a decision it will come in your favor or it won't come in your favor those are the two possibilities that we can have so here also in programming language we have decisions that has to be made and their results are have to come out in a uh, as a boolean value that is either it would be true or false okay so this first we have to see in java how many decision statements we can have first is if statements we can have many variations of if statements and what does this if statements do we have to see them what does this if statement do it means like let's take an example if i write this if is a keyword if and i here i write let's say a is equal to 10 i have given here int a and if i put here a equal equal 10 so and if the condition goes out well i will just display system dot out dot printl and and here i am writing it in short but in the computer when i will type i will make it full i will just write great okay so now what will happen in my program it will check if it will see if if means if it is a possibility like a what is the value of a 10 Ten equal equal ten. Yes, our condition is true, but it's pretty obvious because ten is always equals to ten. If the condition gets true, then the line below the braces, you can say, within the block will be executed, and within the block we have only one line that is we have to print great. So great will be printed. So what I told you, if it is true, if the condition came out to be true, when it came out to be true, we got our things printed. This was a very simple if statement. we can have many variations of this like for sake let's take it if else if else is what in if else we have a choice like if my condition comes out to be true then the if block will be executed if my condition comes out to be false then my else block will be executed like in the sense i will just give you a very real world example like there was a child who wants to go out to play okay he wants to go out to play but he saw that it was raining so it was not possible for him to play outside so the condition becomes false because due to the rain he was not able to play so he will play inside his house only so we had a second option that was if the condition comes out to be false we can have second option to do here in the if also if is we can say that if is a true thing if the things are happening in our favor the child can go out to play but if the things are not happening in our favor then we will use the else that is the second option we have plan b we can say and that we will execute this would be the else that the child will play inside the house only now i will give you a very practical example in a programming language this was a story that i told you for the real world example for practical let's go on okay so let's say if and here i gave int b equals to 10 and here if i check if b is less than 5 then i will execute this block else i will execute my this block or let's say i print here sorry and here let's say i will print happy okay so now we will check what is the value of b 10 so 10 is less than 5 no this is not possible so we will not execute the if block we will come back directly to the else block and we will see what is the plan b we have so plan b we have is to print sorry and the output will be sorry will be printed okay now had it been the value of b i omit it out and make it to 1 so it will check 1 is less than 5 now the condition is true because 1 is mathematically less than 5 so our plan a only worked and this if block will be executed and what is the inside the if block it is happy and then happy will be printed this is your basic if else okay after this we will move on and have a little bit more complexity of our if else okay so this was i just having one plan option now we have we can add many if conditions and many else conditions also like for the sake if i add let's say a equal equal 10 i will check and then i will print let's say i am here i am printing yes 
okay and then i will close then again i can put another condition like i have another condition if a equal equal 20 we can check if a is not equal equal 10 then let's say it is equal equal 20 and if our plan this works then we can move ahead and then i can put another if else i can have many conditions out here okay so here also again i can put else if a equal equal 20 30 i am having many plans in my mind okay so this is like we can say this is my plan a this is my plan b this is my plan c but if all my plans got i would say it's a bad day for me and all my plans got cancelled then we have to put some else statement and if all my plans don't work out then i will just have else nothing i will just put out the statement here so what happened i have many plans but none of them will work then i will use else and let's put out the value of a let's say 35 first are this ex first condition will be executed if a equal equal 10 what's the value of a a is 35 35 equal equal 10 condition full false false my plan a didn't work then i will go to this statement else if a equal equal 20 i will again check let's have a possibility of plan b so 35 equal equal 20 no my plan b is also failed this is also not true then i will check again if a equal equal 35 no my plan c also failed so my all the plans failed and i came to else and i said okay now print nothing i don't have nothing to do okay but had it been a b 30 so here only it would be if a equal equal 30 and 30 equal equal 30 our condition would have become true so i would have said yes my plan c worked that's great so this is basic about else if sometimes you need to have many more repercussions or you can have many more things to do you can have nesting of if also nesting of if what does this means like what i will do in nesting of if we can add an if within an if like within an if block this will be my condition and then if this condition is fulfilled then i will go again and check this condition okay and if this condition is fulfilled then i will move on and then i can put them some else if my this condition is false then i will put else but if my this let's say if this was my first condition my first condition got fulfilled then i will come inside this if block and then i will oh i got another another if then i will check this condition also if this condition is true then i will get this block printed so it is me it means that i have many checkpoints to check like if my first thing gets clear then i will go and dig up more into the deep and i will see whether the another checkpoint is clear or not it's just like you can say here is a watchman he first checked your id card and then after that you enter a house and in the house also to enter the room you have another watchman if the condition is true then only else you won't be able to enter so it means this is the first watchman and this is the second watchman you have two watchmen to check you and if the conditions are true then only you will be able to enter the true it path else you have to move out of this and then you have to print here and but if the first condition only gets false then you have to come out to this out but if your first condition is true then you come out here or oh, you got second condition false then second condition false we will see what is here you can print this else here i will give you a very real world example we have a real world example now let's go for a practical example of this i will write if a is greater than 10 then i will dig up more and i will check if a is greater than 15 also if the condition is true then i will print let's say sopln yes else if a is greater than 10 but less than 15 then i will print else sop second guard failed we can say not possible or you because our second bodyguard failed else what i will do i just close this what is that it is a is greater than 15 if a is not greater than 10 what will happen then all our by checks our checks failed and i will just write here sop ln a is less than 10 you can just put anything a is less than 10 so nothing happened only i was not able to just enter the house only let's have a try run of this i will let's say first of all i will put a value 13 okay so it will check 13 is greater than 10 condition true we will come inside this if block i got another check if a is greater than 15 no a is 13 so only my first check was possible so i will look where is the else of this where is the plan b of this a is greater than 15 e here is i have so i will just put not possible as the output because it is not possible but had it been it would be 18 so let's take it a as 18 a greater than 10 condition true 
then I will come. If a is greater than fifteen, yes, both the conditions are true. Then I will come and dig up this if. So S O P L N yes. So yes will be printed now here. Okay. So now let's take another scenario. A a comes out to be ten. Um, let's take it nine. So nine greater than ten. Entire plan fail. No checks are possible. We were out of the house. And then I will come to this else, and it will be a is less than ten. That's pretty obvious because a was less than ten. That was the reason we were not able to enter the if body. So we came out to the else body. Very simple. And I will just print a is less than ten. So I hope now this dangling if else and if conditions are clear to you. Now let's have a practical approach to it. So this is my simple first if. Condition like I have given num is equals to ten and here I am checking if num is less than twenty. Let's see, ten is less than twenty. The condition is true. As soon as the condition is true, we will print the line within this. So it comes out to be we have to print welcome to shape API. And here we got welcome to shape AI. You can see. Um, let's run it again also. And yes, we got it. Now just I have to put another. Let's put here else statement also and. I will just put here else and then open up the braces and I will put if let's say we have to get a plan B that if my condition is false then what I will do. So let's take it here. I will print by. Let's take it here a very simple example of this. Okay, so here I have to close another bracket and we are done. And now let's go for the false. Here let's have a false. Let's take it num has to be less than twenty. So we will go for this ten hundred. I'll put the value num as hundred, and in this hundred, we know num is less than twenty. You can see ten hundred is not less than twenty. Of course, hundred is greater than twenty. So we will we at uh, this loop won't be executed. This block won't be executed. So we have to go to our another plan that is else, and here we will get printing by. Let's see whether it will run or not. And yes, you can see by is printed. As simple as that. Okay. So now let's say. I have to go for else if. Okay, so I will just put another if here, and I will check if num is um greater than. Let's put out num is less than thirty. If the num is less than thirty, so let's see whether we can get it or not. We won't be because our num is hundred. But let it make it. Let's make it. Um, let's take it around thirty twenty five. So we know in twenty five we will get this true because we the num is less than thirty but greater than twenty. So this conditions comes out to be true. Let's run it, and we got by because twenty five is less than thirty. Condition came out true, and we were in this block. Okay, so let's print out the else of this again. Okay, I will just give the else also. Like if both our plans fail, then what I have to do? <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so here if both my plans fail, so I will just write here failed. So that we know that both my plans failed and we were not able to execute anything. And let's give it two fifth two zero five. So we know now num is not less than twenty. Also num is not less than thirty. Also, so are all the plans failed? So we will be printing this statement that is fail will be printed. Let's see. And great, a fail is being printed. This was else if else. Okay, now let's go and have else if within an if. Okay. So let's see if within a if I will just make sure I will write another if here, and I will just check that if num is greater is less than fifty. So we will check here, and then let's give out here if num is less than ten, and then I will just put it to less than ten. Okay here, and then if this is true, then I will print here system dot dot print ln welcome to shape ai. Okay, that's it. Simple. Okay, so now I will put the number. Let's give it. Five. So we know up this check will definitely pass because our num is less than twenty. Great. Num is less than ten. Also great because five is less than ten. And here it will be welcome to shape AI. Let's see. Yes, we got welcome to shape AI because both the conditions came out to be true. So that was basically about your if statement. After the if, we have another type of decision making statement that is switch. Okay. So let's dig up into switch and see what switch is all about. So let me just move up the slides. Okay, so now we will learn about switch case. This is an interesting case. This is switch. What happens? Switch gives us a choice. Like here, if I have let's say one, two, and three. So instead of writing the entire code or having the entire, I will ask the user. 
ओके सो हियर आर सम चॉइस दैट इज फर्स्ट चॉइस इज लाइक यू कैन हैव अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट सेकेंड चॉइस इज यू कैन हैव अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट थर्ड चॉइस इज यू कैन हैव अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ थर्टी सो वी आर गिविंग यूजर्स अ चॉइस बट हाउ दिस चॉइस विल एग्जैक्टली वर्क इन द प्रोग्राम I have to ask the user. You have to input the choice. If the user put the choice two, then we will see what is there at choice two. At choice two, we have twenty percent discount. So twenty we will get the discount. So this giving the user a choice or user to allow to make some choices according to their decisions, whatever the user comes out to be. This is done by the switch. Switch is a keyword, and this switch case help us to. make decisions and give us choice in our practical scenario also it gives us choice it gives us the freedom that we can choose something between given if options are given to us okay so let's have a directly practical example so in this what i am doing i am doing i am just putting a grade variable in this i have input the value c and here in switch i am asking user if where you have to go and look for this grade if this grade is present in the choice then print whatever is the part of that choice so in this grade is equal to c so here we have cases to indicate the choice okay so here we will see okay so if is the grade that is c equal equal this choice that is a no c is not equal to a that's pretty obvious so we will not work on this so now we will see is this our choice that we input is equal equal b okay so c equal equal b no so we will not work on this okay so we are here and then we will move on to here we will see yes c is greater is c equal equal c yes it's great we got our choice so our choice is there and we will execute this so it will be system dot out dot print ln and well well done will be printed so let's see whether well done has been printed or not yes and after that you are just printing whatever the user choice was as we break break comes out of this switch break is used to move out of that switch case or from any of the loop we will take up the break in details but as of now we will just come out and we will as soon as i will come out of this switch block we will get another line that has to be printed system dot dot print ln your grade is c so what is my grade here c uh, because my choice was what it was my grade variable is what we were printing this grade variable so grade variable is storing value c so it print out to be c had it been i gave some value or choice that is not the part of my options so let's say i gave out to be g and you can see my options are what this case means the options i have a option a i have a option b i have a option c but i don't think there is an option like g so we will see whenever some user puts an option that is not the part of our category or of our list then we have some default like this is an invalid grade we will put out there hey user you are putting some wrong value that is not the part of my option list okay so let's see whether invalid list will be printed or not because this g is not the options that we are putting as the computer will go it will run it will see whether this choice one this is choice a a equal equal to the choice of that user grade grade what is grade storing g g equal equal a no then we will come back to the second choice b b equal equal grade grade is storing what g g no then we will go to the c c choice c choice c equal equal to grade grade is what g no then we will come out to the default okay so all the choices have been finished and the user choice is not man not making or it's not making any sense because our choices have finished and still we don't have any thing to compare so we will come out to the default and we will print invalid choice or invalid grade and then we will print the grade also what the invalid grade user has printed and you can see it's invalid grade the user grade is invalid with that is not the part of my choice okay so i hope you now have understood what is switch case and switch statement i hope now you will be able to implement in your own programs only